so today we are going to learn how to import data into emos software so to import data into emos software the first thing that you have to do is to launch your emos software from your computer once you launch your emos software you can see that this this white space you see here this is the work interface this is where you are going to work from then you may need to expand this working space so to expand it uh, you come here to view you come to interface properties then this window will pop up when this window pops up uh, you come here to paper size there are different paper sizes they are portrait and there is also landscape paper sizes to expand this space maybe you may need to expand to landscape before then you click apply so you can see that it has expanded then to maybe to expand it further we can use radscape really go then you click apply then you can see that that space has expanded to the maximum now you have a bigger space where now you can build your models as uh, the way you want so now um, after that then we come to we go to import our data so you select this uh, icon here this icon here select data files you click on it then a window will pop up this window to import the data from your computer you click on file name click on file name then it will take you to your computer so you search where your data is stored you search where your data uh, is stored so my data We stored uh, stored in this file here so this is the data my data is stored or is saved in form of an SPSS file so you click on that data and you click open but before we import that data I want to show you that you can import various forms of data into AMOS AMOS is compatible with the different forms of data. So the first one is that you can import Excel. You can see these Excel files, Excel 3, 4, 5, and 8. You can also import .dbf files. You can also import .sav. This is IBM, IBM SPSS statistics files. You can also import uh, CSV files. Yeah. So depending on your uh, on the type of the data how you have saved your data then you click on it then you click open once you click open then your data will be fed into uh, uh, this 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 window here so this 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 file it shows the file name so my file is uh, data is called data it is data.sav because my data is saved in form of an SPSS file then here it shows n you see this n this is the number of or the sample size n represents the sample size so my sample size is 374 uh, respondents or 374 observations then to import the data you click ok but if you if you click this icon here view data then you, you will be able to see your data your data will be uh, will pop up in form of uh, the soft or from the software you have saved it if you have saved it in SPSS then it will be shown in SPSS if you have saved it in in CSV or in Excel then it will be shown in in form of CSV or Excel so to import the data into AMOS you click OK so now the data has been imported into uh, AMOS software so you, you come here to see the list of variables in your data set so you click this icon then this window will pop up it shows the number of variables in your data set for instance in my data set i have all these variables i have all these variables in my data set so that is how you import uh, the data the data set into your amos so for the next video the next video that we shall cover is that we are going to learn how to how, how, how we are going to learn the difference between rat and variables and observed variables in amos software so make sure you check the next video so that you can also learn the differences between rat and variables and observed variables and also how to draw them 
Enemos software. Also make sure to subscribe and like this video if you have learned something uh, important. Thank you.